Focus of the news tonight, Premier of Sarawak enlivens 300 Asnaf at Gadong. Two events under Sukma 2024 may be cancelled. KMKK, the eyes and ears of the government and community. Public call to help deaf community. Datuk Sri Huang donates 500,000 ringgit Malaysia to SMK Tinggi Sarike. Good evening. The Premier of Sarawak, Datuk Patinggi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari Tun Datuk Abang Openg hosted 300 Asnaf people from the Gedong State Legislative Assembly, Dun, constituency in conjunction with the Holy Man of Ramadan. The symbolic handing over of the state donation was completed by him in the Gedong District Breaking Fast Ceremony on Saturday. In the meantime, Tabong Haji Sarawak Haji also channeled donations to 300 other ASNAF groups. At the event, 56 ASNAF members received contributions while the remaining recipients will receive their contribution later from the Masjid and the Tabong Haji Sarawak Board. Earlier, Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari also presented a minor rural project, MRP, fund contribution of 3,000 ringgit each to 10 mosques while 13 surau each received MRP funding of 2,000 ringgit. The total amount of MRP funds presented by Datuk Patinggi Awang Zohari is 56,000 ringgit. After the symboling handing over of eight, Datuk Patinggi Awang Zohari, who is also Gedong Assemblyman, continued the program with an opening ceremony before performing the obligatory Fardu Maghrib prayer with the residents of Gedong. Then he had the opportunity to attend a dinner with dignitaries, grassroots leaders and residents from Gedong who were present that night. The ceremony then continued with the Fardu Isha prayer and the Taraweh prayer before the Premier of Sarawak departed for the state capital. The women's 10-metre diving and women's futsal events at the Malaysian Games Sukma 2024 may face cancellation if they fail to meet the necessary requirements. Sarawak Minister of Youth, Sports and Entrepreneur Development, Datuk Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, explained that each sports event in Sukma must be participated by at least six states. Karena untuk Sukma ni dia mesti disertai oleh kurang-kurangnya enam negeri. Kalau kurang daripada enam negeri untuk mana-mana acara, jadi sukan tersebut akan digugurkan. Jadi sebab itulah we are still finalising on that part. Ada dua tiga sukan acara-acara bukan bukan the whole sukan tapi acara sukan. Satu daripadanya yang saya dimaklumkan adalah diving 10 meter wanita. Saya sedih juga karena saya tahu itu adalah satu daripada acara yang boleh mendatangkan emas kepada Sarawak tapi memandangkan hanya empat negeri saja yang kalau tak silap saya yang mengantarkan nama atlet jadi kemungkinan terpaksa digugurkan ada ada tiga empat lebih lagi acara-acara yang lain yang juga mungkin terpaksa digugurkan. Futsal wanita pun juga terpaksa digugurkan kerana saya difahamkan hanya empat negeri saja yang mengantar. He said this during the Juh Berambe Sungke program at Padang Merdeka Kuching on Saturday. Datuk Sri Abdul Karim added that the organizing committee for Sukma 2024 is trying to request other states to send more contingents for sports events. Tapi kita masih lagi dalam usaha untuk menasihat negeri-negeri supaya mengantar. Uh, jangan dilihat ter terlalu sangat daripada boleh menang ke tidak, tapi lebih untuk uh, semangat kesukanan. Yeah. Village and community leaders, KMKK, play a crucial role as the eyes and ears between the government and the people of the community. Deputy Premier of Sarawak, Dato' Ama Professor Dr. Sim Kui Hian, said KMKK is a part of the government that provides essential services to the people. He said 
KMKK should be alert about the current political situation in the country where friends can become foes. In a posting on his Facebook page, Dr. Ama Dr. Sim said this was a reminder of what the late governor of Sarawak Alaya Hamtun Pahin Sri, Abdul Taib Mahmud, cautioned, which is not to just listen to what that person say, but to also study his behaviour because the behaviour does not change. He also cautioned to be wary of online schemes fake news that go viral, and also to verify the validity of certain news. He said this in a post on his Facebook page for the hand of a ceremony of notices and appointment certificates for KMKK for N53 Bawang Asan on Friday. Dato Ama, Professor Dr. Sim, who is also the Minister of Public Health, Housing and Local Government, said that the time has come for Bawang Asan to pursue development. With the announcement of the Premier of Sarawak, Datuk Patigi Abang Zohari, recently regarding the special funds from the Rural Transformation Project for Bawang Asan, this is clear evidence that the Premier does not want the Bawang Asan to be left behind. In the ceremony, Dato Ama Dr. Sim reappointment certificates to 50 members of KMKK for the Dun Bawang Asan. Ting Jack Singh was appointed as the headman, while Chu Hu Kyong was appointed as the captain in the Dun Bawang Asan, along with 48 other village chiefs. Members of the public are called to help the deaf community so that they are not marginalised in the current development, especially in Sarawak. Sarawak Deputy Premier Dato Ama Dr. Sim said the Sarawak government will continue its commitment in improving the lives of deaf individuals. There are 3,000 deaf in Sarawak and about 10% uh, of them uh, belong to some society who are deaf and it's important for them to uh, support them for us to support them because uh, and they need to do uh, outreach programs and so on and despite all the, uh, dis uh, the disability, right, because they choose, they not choose to be born like that, you know, uh, they are doing uh, with the proper support uh, through the uh, SSD, the teachers and all this, they can actually uh, living very independent and not only living very independent, they can actually be part of very normal living as well as contributing to uh, Sarawak in many other ways, you know, be nation building, be all this. He said this after officiating the Sarawak Society of Deaf SSD Charity Food Festival 2024 held at the Sarawak Association of Churches in Kuching on Sunday. The fundraising will contribute towards the renovation of the SSD building, especially its video editing room and Malaysian Sign Language classroom, a new cafe, deaf tuition, mini park, as well as support activities of deaf people. Every year, the SSD Center will organize various projects such as training workshops, motivation camps, and much more for the deaf community to learn new skills in addition to enhancing their social skills and overall life skills. The Deputy Minister of Natural Resources and Environmental Sustainability, who is also a member of Parliament for Sarike, Dato Sri Huang Tiong Si, has donated 500,000 ringgit to SMK Tinggi Sarike in appreciation and support to the school. He announced the contribution at the 20th anniversary celebration and appreciation night of SMK Tinggi Sarike on Saturday. From the mentioned amount, 200,000 ringgit will be allocated for minor rural projects for an alumni scholarship fund and school upgrading work, while Dato Sri Huang's personal allocation of 300,000 ringgit will fund the school's annual activities. In his speech, he thanked all alumni of the school, adding that he appreciates everyone's commitment and loyalty to the educational institution. He further said the continuous support of the school's alumni has helped to promote the school's success on various levels. He said the sharing of the school's alumni in terms of experience and knowledge also serves as an inspiration and role model to the students. 
He added, under the leadership of the Premier of Sarawak, Datuk Patinggi Tan Sri Abang Zohari, Sarawak is known for the friendship and harmony that exists among various races, cultures and religions. He said, harmony in Sarawak can be seen through the cooperation with each other in daily life. And that's the English edition with me, Nicholas Zachariah Boni. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my and social media platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. We end the UKAS Bulletin with highlights of the Gadong District Breaking Fast Ceremony, which was graced by the Premier of Sarawak on Saturday. Hashtag Salaran Info Masih Rakyat. Have a good night.